This is 21st Century Reformation at 21stcr.org. Chapter 2 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. For you yourselves know, brothers, that our coming to you is not in vain. But though we had already suffered and been shamefully treated at Philippi, mm -hmm. as you know, we had boldness in our God to declare to you the gospel of God mm -hmm. in the midst of much conflict. For our appeal does not spring from error or impurity or any attempt to deceive, but just as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel, so we speak, not to please man, but to please God who tests our hearts. For we never came with words of flattery, as you know, nor with a pretext for greed. God is witness. Nor did we seek glory from people, whether from you or from others, Though we could have made demands as apostles of Christ, yeah. but we were gentle among you, like yeah. a nursing mother taking care of her own children. So being affectionately desirous of you, we were ready to share with you not only the gospel of God, but also our own selves, because you had become very dear to us. Mm. Wow. So he's, uh, he's from the very beginning, he's reminding them yeah. about the time that yeah. he was with them and uh, their... Uh, uh, how well it went, uh, absolutely, as, and how that mm. they came uh, not for any self benefit, uh, yeah. no self aggrandizement, right. no self advantage, yeah. but came to bring the word of the God. Yeah. He says through a lot of conflict, mm -hmm. and yes. they'd been mistreated yeah. at Philippi, and then came here oh, yeah. and found conflict in Thessalonica. Right. Another conflict. lesson, isn't it, Anthony, mm -hmm. that we realize that many times. Mm -hmm. The good uh, mm. that we need to see accomplished mm. in our work in God mm. may be through conflict. It's unavoidable oh, it sometimes. I think yeah. that's part, yeah. of, the, part yeah. of the exercise. Yes. Yeah, it just goes yeah. with the goes with the deal. I, I like his confidence here because he's not congratulating himself. You know, mm. others might be rather puffed up. There, all the, look at all the good things we did. We were so gentle and kind. But he's a man of such great confidence mm. in what he's doing for God that he can say this quite openly yeah. and, and mean it. And convince uh, them. I like his, uh, I guess his simile here. He's saying, uh, we were among you like a nursing mother oh, yeah. taking care of her mm -hmm. own children. He, he's, he's alluding to the most, uh, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. sincere down to earth. and, uh, yes. Down to earth images. Yeah, there? beautiful. Uh, it is. And that's how he cared for them. Yes, he did. I really believe that, too. Yes. He, uh, yes. he counted it of great value and mm -hmm. counted them of great mm -hmm. value. So that's wonderful. Yes. Um, Gospel of God in verse 2 ah, yes. is wonderful because that is also uh, the first chapter of Mark. Jesus comes preaching the Gospel of God. Mm -hmm. and immediately, Paul's not got a different Gospel from Jesus. Yes, yes. One of the things that torments Bible study is mm -hmm. the fact that some suppose that, Jew, that Jesus preached the kingdom to Jews. Right. And Paul preached something else. Yeah. That's absolutely fatal mm -hmm. confusion. Yeah. So the phrase Gospel of God is right out of Mark 1, 14, 15. I love that. It's the gospel of the kingdom. And the correlation is wonderful. Isn't oh, it? it must be. It must be. Uh, again, the church going be. public uh, all too often is not aware of what's no. been done on this issue. No. Separating uh, the gospel yes. as preached by Jesus yeah. and supposedly... A, a different Terribly version, bad. a different program here by Paul. Terribly bad. So the gospel of Paul and the gospel of Jesus are not yeah. the same thing. It's ridiculous. And yeah, yet, Anthony, bad. as you know, in uh, in many of our uh, Bible colleges around this yes. country, that's exactly that's what's, what's being taught. That's very sad. Uh, someday yeah. The, yeah. The, uh, the public needs to open yeah. their minds and their eyes and say, this Absolutely. is not right. No. Obviously, they were both teaching the same gospel. That's right. Exactly Otherwise, the same thing. As Bill Wattell used to say very wisely, Paul would have put himself under his own curse for preaching another preaching gospel. Preaching another gospel, that's right. Isn't that powerful? <laughs> that is it. That's yeah. very, very interesting. It's an interesting way of putting it. Yeah, that's know, right. Because he's terribly upset yeah. in the book of Galatians. That's right. I mean, distraught. That's right. To the point of mm. frenzy. That's right. That they could imagine another gospel. Another so gospel. we're saying you root yourself in the gospel about the kingdom of God, right. Mark 1, 14, right. 15. If you don't start there, you have no foundation. And we then call it the gospel of God. We don't have to say gospel of the kingdom all the time. We know that USA means the United States that's of right. America, right. not the United States. We know yes, that, right. but the public doesn't know that's that. Right. That's right. So if you notice that in verse 8 and verse 9, we have the same gospel of God. 
If we don't get the gospel right, mm-hmm. we're really floundering. Are, are we off base? Right from the very beginning. Right from the very how, how are we going to? Uh, how are we going to win? Then? We must get the gospel yeah. defined. And uh, but it, it's it's just ridiculous that this actually is taught mm. in uh, yeah. Bible colleges, Some, uh, yes, various right. divinity right. schools. This yeah. division of gospel oh, business yeah. systematically, yes, yeah. and it needs to stop. That needs to be put to an end. <laughs> Someday the, the students themselves yep. need to outgrow that yes. because the system has been imposing these ideas on them about two oh, different gospels and all yes. that nonsense. And uh, the, the gospel of Paul and the gospel of Jesus. Uh, Terribly well, bad. The, there needs to, the students themselves yes. need to begin to rise up, rise up and, and so challenge their professors and say, right, right. you know, haven't we uh, come right. to the place where we realize that yeah. Paul and Jesus were preaching the yes, same yes, gospel? Exactly. No difference. Same thing. That's right. Yeah. Now that is, I think, one of the most fundamentally important things we can get over for Bible study. If we don't grasp that, we grasp nothing. Absolutely. There's an extreme form of what you're describing there called ultra dispensationalism, mm, mm. which has the goal to say that the gospel is really in the late letters of Paul only. Mm, mm, mm-hmm. So forget Romans <laughs> and move quickly to Colossians and Philippians and right. Ephesians. That's where the gospel. That is a fatal error. I mean, atheism is nothing to that. <laughs> The atheists are not so, as harmful to Christianity as some, some Christians I'm are. I'm trying that's to make right. my point. That's that. right. But that is fundamentally <laughs> wrong. That's right. You then get rid of water baptism, yeah. for example, which is a ghastly tragedy. It puts one shaking one's fist at the mm. earliest and easiest commands well, to be baptized. The, this, this kind of dispensationalism, then basically mm. you get to wave away. You do. A great mass oh, of yeah. understanding mm. materials is brought to us by mm. the Lord and by his mm. apostles. But, you know, back to Ephesians. Paul That's is right. saying that built on the yes. foundation of the yes, apostles. of course. Well, yes. that doesn't work if you're going to say that no. nothing really counts till you get to Paul's later writing. No, no. It's ridiculous. No, it's, 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 it's an, an absurd error. Yeah. It's found particularly badly in the Bullinger Bible, I want to yes. say. Mm. And he has in his appendix there five different forms of the gospel. I'm not talking about five gospels, yeah, yeah. but five different gospel, saving gospel messages. Yes. It's you know, it's a sort of a professor's nightmare mm. to even think how he got there. Yeah, yeah. So it's we're really uniting awesome. and unifying, I think, in an excellent way. And say Hebrews two three says that Jesus was the first to preach salvation. Mm. That's wonderful. He yes. preached salvation as well as dying for salvation. Right. But he preached salvation. But he preached it. That's correct. And Paul That's doesn't right. waver from that. That's right. Therefore, the eight kingdom texts in Acts is where you start with all Bible study. Mm-hmm. Start. Let's just unify. Paul in Acts sure. is not preaching a different gospel Absolutely than the not. gospel of the king. Otherwise, I mean, it's really mass chaos. And that's, I'm afraid, as you said earlier, this underlying, this, this theory that Paul somehow preached a different gospel from Jesus underlies in subtle ways, if not in blatant ways, mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of preaching, instinctively. Mm-hmm. It's not oh, yeah. explicit, well, but it's, it's there. Well, when it's being taught sometimes mm-hmm. in the uh, in Bible colleges and yeah. Bible schools, and we have young Christians yes. uh, who are uh, very buoyed mm-hmm. and up and Absolutely. ready to, to go forward, yes. and here they're being taught a mm-hmm. fundamental error. Mm-hmm. You, you know, we could save ourselves a lot of trouble. Everybody could. Yeah. If they would simply apply this measure to such mm. questions. We say, well, now, Paul had mm. this gospel of grace. Jesus had the gospel of the mm. king. Two different gospels. All you have to do is just ask, where did Paul say that? Not at all. Where did Jesus say that? No. Why, then, is my professor no. saying it at I this know. board and I saying know. this when they That's didn't right. say it? Right. It's that simple. Yeah. No, you know the point there beautifully. Acts 20, verses 24 and 25. Ah, yes. Paul sir. speaks of having preached, and he's summarizing his ministry. He knows what he preached. Sure. It was the gospel about the grace of God. People will stop there. The next verse says, and as I went about heralding the kingdom. The kingdom, absolutely. You see, those two right. verses then put together can change this whole system right. and put it right. right. One gospel. One gospel. And uh, Paul wasn't proclaiming a different no. one. As you say, with, uh, no. Bill Walker's observation was very good. When it would put himself under his, his own, own curse. curse. That's right. A different gospel. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really amazing. Yeah. So that gospel of God phrase is wonderful there. In verse 2 and verse 8 and mm. verse 9, That's linked nice. with Mark 1. It's also in First Peter 4, 17, I think. Yes. He has the same phrase. Mm. These apostles would be appalled at, at the idea that we, 
somehow there were various yes. different gospels for different yeah, people in the New Testament. It's absurd. Chaos. Well, hopefully, again, our Bible students out there mm. who are, are hearing and being taught these yes. things will begin to have uh, yes. the good the spiritual test. sense yes. and intuition right. just begin to say, you know, That's right. there's something wrong here, and let's get this thing set right. right. Even if we can't change the whole system, mm. we can begin to change one Christian at a time, mm -hmm. one minister mm -hmm. at a time. Mm -hmm. But let's get this yes. right. Yeah. And alas, this goes back to Luther. You know, we, we've said this, I think, on some of our, our talks together. That Luther's the one who says that if you'd never read Matthew, Mark, and Luke, you aren't missing much. <laughs> yes. See, that's absolutely <laughs> faith. Oh, so word. rush to John, yeah. who is obviously mm. harder in some respect. Mm. And C.S. Lewis even says the gospel is really not in the Gospels. Yes, yes. Uh, to me, this is worse than atheism. Yes, you might as well say God stuff. doesn't exist. Yes, it's ridiculous. It's fundamentally yeah. false. It's structurally uh, and fundamentally yeah. just misleading Absolutely. to say such right. a thing. Well, you know, and, and these guys are, are brilliant, smart oh, yeah. guys. I mean, oh, Luther yeah. was a, a great mind and uh, mm -hmm. much to be oh, yeah. admired in, in many ways. Sure. Uh, certainly uh, C.S. Lewis, uh, mm -hmm. likewise. But this was not one of their brighter moments. No. This, this business of the gospel not being of the gospel no, and all this horrible. nonsense yes. is a total uh, diversion it's away it's from it's, yes. uh, the, yes. the message. And people wow. don't read the Bible because no. they can't make any sense mm. of it. Don't well, you know, I don't like what we see now. I, yes. And I love and, and right. enjoy yes. reading the gospel yes. Jesus preached oh, and yes. the gospel that Paul preached yes. and not somehow making this no. difference. In my, that's ridiculous. I love what we're seeing. I love what we see. The there is one gospel. That's right. And the Acts is the bridge because it shows what Paul was preaching in the gospel. Yeah. People have pointed out rightly, Paul may not use the phrase gospel of the kingdom when he's in prison particularly. Sure. You know, Caesar's listening. That's right. You That's may right. want to veil it slightly, yeah. but right. if you go to the book of Acts, it's quite clear from right. Luke that Paul was an inveterate preacher of the gospel Absolutely. of the kingdom. From from from, from sun up to sundown. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I just mentioned I got two hundred and sixty radio programs made many years ago and some people plow through things. It's rather long, but every day I would sit up to lunch for 15 minutes and do the same theme, Gospel of the Kingdom. That's right. And yeah. I just find that very yeah. satisfying. Verse 9. Yes. For you remember, brothers, our labor and toil. We work night and day that we might not be a burden to any mm -hmm. of you. While we proclaim to you the gospel of God. There it is again for the sake of the kingdom. Yeah, I love the word it. of God gospel. Yeah. Yes, wonderful. Verse 10. You are witnesses, and God also, how holy and righteous and blameless was our conduct toward you mm. believers. Mm. For you know how, like a father with his children, we exhorted each one of you and encouraged you and charged you to walk in a manner worthy of God, who calls you into his kingdom and glory. Marvelous. Ah. <laughs> what a summary. That's I want it. to just stand and applaud. Absolutely. Well done, yeah, Paul. You've got it right. That's, I, right. I get you. that's amazing. Is this father image. Didn't, what you were mentioning earlier, I think a mother image. You know, ah, yeah, this, you know, yes, that's right. Now it's like a father, paternal, but, yes. but not um, condescending. That's right. The, he's picturing the most uh, loving and intimate oh, yeah. relationships yeah. here in these things. Yeah. Beautiful. And, of course, they did work a job. You see. Yeah. Yeah, we were not taking your money first. That's right. That's right. <laughs> we weren't there for any <laughs> self-gain no. uh, or self-advantage. No. I mean, to be doing religion in any form for the sake of gain financially is a chronic mistake. Yes. It's really bad. And, and I, I, I fear that we see far too much of that at work oh, yeah. in Christianity yeah. today. It's disturbing yeah. to me. It There's, should be disturbing yeah, to Christians. should not be the motive. To see that money becomes the focus no, no. Oh, of our religion fatal. is a, is a ah, no, this is not, not good. Not good at all. Oh my no, goodness. No. We should be bothered by that. No, no. And if we're not bothered by it, there's something wrong with us as Christians. I think <laughs> yes. it would have been yes. disturbing to Paul. And, yes. And, uh, yes. Verse 13. Yes. And we also thank God constantly for this, yes. that when you received the word of God, mm -hmm. which you heard from us, mm -hmm. you accepted it not as the word of men, mm -hmm. but as what it really is, the word of God, mm -hmm. which is at work in you believers. Verse 14, for you brothers became imitators of the churches of God in Christ Jesus that are in Judea. For you suffered the same things from your own countrymen mm -hmm. as they did from the Jews, who killed both the Lord Jesus and the prophets mm -hmm. and drove us out and displeased God and opposed all mankind. Verse 16, by hindering us from speaking to the Gentiles that they might be saved, so as always to fill up the measure of their sins. Mm -hmm. But God's wrath has come upon them at last. Wow. 
this right. is uh, very uh, very powerful. Then that's right, Anthony. Uh, yeah. This uh, this verse mm -hmm. thirteen mm -hmm. contain is one of my very favorite. Oh, verses. really? I was going to say the very same thing. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. absolutely. Uh, I, Go I, ahead. I, uh, this Give is us a, your favorite I, verse. I, I just love this. I do uh, I do he too. loves the way that they receive the word mm -hmm. of God, but they received it, they mm -hmm. heard it, and they accepted it. Mm -hmm. As for what it really mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. for the word of mm -hmm. God, not as the word of men. Yeah. And they saw and, and they had that uh, that understanding, right. that spiritual grasp of that. It's God's it. whole plan, God's whole I reason for setting Absolutely. up the universe. I love I love the Greek here because this thing in the NSV, it's the word of God which is also performing its work ah. in you who believe. Well. The Greek word is energite there, you can hear the energy. Uh, the gospel is not some academic argument. Yes. If yes. it doesn't produce energy, even uh, health giving energy in your life, right. forget it. It's not That's working. Right. That's right. But this gospel works. It's yeah. energite. Yeah. The opposite is the thing in Ephesians 2, where Satan is energite in the sons of disobedience. Oh, same thing those, in reverse. Right. <laughs> those who refuse to obey yeah. God, watch out, they're inducing the power of mm -hmm. Satan into their life. Well, On the other hand, if you get the gospel of the kingdom straight and God and Jesus, then you're bringing the very creative energy that made the universe yeah. into your life. Into your life. I like that. That's a good thing. It's doing yes. you good, mm. not harm. I love it. And he's saying, uh, you, in, in sensing that this was not the word of men, but the word of God, yes. you then became imitators of us. Yes. Uh, we suffered yes. uh, for yes. this message, and you were willing to suffer for it also. Exactly. Part I, I like that a lot. The suffering right. is part of it. Because the, yeah. the devil is terribly troubled, mm -hmm. and the truth comes. That's Luke 8, 12. I love Luke 8, 12. It says, when anybody hears the message of the kingdom, yes, yes. the devil is there, ready to snatch it away, mm -hmm. so that they could not believe that message of the kingdom right. and get mm -hmm. saved. Yes. Excuse me? That's amazing. The devil understands better than some churchgoers yes. that the kingdom message is the, is the issue. Yes. You either get it or you don't. So we can understand then by in, uh, in Matthew 13, this sower and the seed. Oh, yes. we, we realize and there's a critical moment. There's critical things going Absolutely. on here for you, God, and the devil. Absolutely. Uh, because... Yes. If that's right. when the moment when that that's seed right. is being sown, yes. it's certainly critical for you because this Absolutely. determines what direction right. you're going to go, how you're going to receive this word, what you're going to do with it. Mm -hmm. But and that's very critical for God mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, because this is exactly what He wants to see you do right. in your life. He's going to honor your honoring of the word. Yes. You honor the word, God that's honors right. you. That's right. And then, but it's also yeah. critical for the devil. Yes. This is the moment when the devil's going to be very on guard. Right. And about the business of, of hopefully snatching, snatching it before right. it can bring forth fruit. Yeah, so right. we shouldn't be uh, we shouldn't be uh, no, surprised no, no, no. A battle going at the on, adversary's right. efforts then and to uh, to yeah, keep us from this. The war. devil is trying to frustrate immortality at mm. every point. He's not yes. keen on the human race yes. gaining a position superior to the angels. <laughs> yes, yes. He's go he's going to work very hard mm. at preventing that happening. Mm. That's what we see here. So uh, much effort on the part of, mm -hmm. uh, of many to, he, he says, uh, uh, hinder them mm -hmm. from, from speaking to the Gentiles, that they might indeed uh, be, saved. be saved. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. So salvation is not just a matter of smiling at people, please note, right? Yeah. You can do that too. But eventually you're going to have to speak the gospel to That's people to get them saved. That's right. That's Don't just right. be a nice chap and right. be and right. hope right. for the best. No, yeah. you speak the gospel. Paul spent hours right. speaking That's right. the gospel. Uh, it's a lot of work. Well, uh, uh, and it's it's a nice thought to say we we preach with our lives, and I think there's oh, a truth sure. to that. We Absolutely. do preach with the lives course, we live, too. but you also have to use words to yes. express. Yes. this message right. of the gospel. Yes. And all you have to do to prove that to yourself is just look, what did Paul do? What did Jesus do? <laughs> yes. They spoke words. Yes. They brought the word yes. of God to bear. Right. And we're not different from that, I think. That's we right. want to speak with our lives. Paul did too. That's right. He said, we came oh, yeah. among you yes. uh, without yes. uh, any, uh, yes. you know, any wrong yes. intent. And we, we came yes. uh, honorably to you and treated you as a father with yes. his children. Indeed. And uh, so... Paul was, but that wasn't just what Paul did alone. He, he didn't no. just come and, no, and no. act in no. such a, a good, loving manner to them, no. which he did. Mm -hmm. But he also spoke to them. That's right. The word. So and then the word is yeah. having that power. That power. That's, yes. that's the key. Isn't it? So if it. you are the devil, you must try to get rid of this the This is word the time to the stop this. The gospel that's right. of the king, which that's is right. the seed, the unit of energy is exactly. seed, isn't it? Exactly. We watch it. 
all the time in the garden. Exactly. And what you said just then reminds me of the humorous line, you know, preach the gospel, if necessary, use words. <laughs> yes. I like that. Okay. Makes that a good right. point. There, there's truth uh-huh. there. But yes. then we almost, well, we do have to remember it is necessary to use words totally. before the day is done. It's somehow, or otherwise we haven't really preached the gospel and until that happens. And it takes so. hours to do, and That's a right. lot of training. That's right. I think some people are are frustrated if they don't make the progress they hope to. Now, not everybody's going to accept the gospel. I understand sure. that. But I don't think they realize the training and, and uh, involvement that's it, necessary to be an effective fisherman. After that, all, nobody goes fishing <laughs> well, that's right. no instructions, that's right. do that's they? Right. That's right. It's uh, not. It has to be learned. You can't uh, just go out there and uh, no. and fly around no. and, and be successful no. as a fisherman. No. You, you're going to have to have some right. training. So you get and busy. so it is with, right. with these things. As right. well. yeah, you start right. today on the internet. You, know, you can go to a, a thousand blogs, put in your little piece of information, and you've got a life job on your hands, right, right there. That's right. It's very fascinating. Okay. Verse 17. Mm-hmm. But since we were torn away from you, brothers, for a short time, in person, not in heart, mm-hmm. we endeavored the more eagerly and with great desire to see you face to face, because we wanted to come to you. I, Paul, again and again, but Satan hindered mm-hmm. us. For what is our hope or joy or crown of boasting before our Lord Jesus at his coming? Is it not you? For you are our glory and joy. Oh, my goodness, how powerful this is. And here we have the introduction of the famous word, parousia, is Ah. coming. Arrival, visible arrival, I want to say. There Mm. is a group, you know, that traded on the idea that he came invisibly in 1914. That is to... to Doesn't work well at all. Considerable nonsense. (laughs) No, parousia is... Literally, presence, of course. Mm-hmm. But guess what? When you, when you arrive, you are present. No, well, so the right word in English is right. arrival, uh-huh. coming in glory, mm-hmm. parousia. And here it is introduced in this book, and it's going to be repeated a number of times. I like that. Uh, 19, a lot. verse 19. Uh, you know, I was thinking in verse 17, uh, Anthony, mm-hmm. about, mm-hmm. he says, we were torn away from you. Yes. That reminds me again of that last yeah. one was there. Yeah. And... Uh, it wasn't yeah. a happy parting. So, but yeah. so he didn't get to spend time with him yeah, to the extent that perhaps he did at other uh, other point. groups and other right. people, and he was literally torn away mm. from them, and he he missed them so much mm. uh, in his heart. He says, uh, mm-hmm. uh, in person, uh, mm-hmm. we were torn away, but mm-hmm. not in our hearts. Our mm-hmm. hearts were still with Absolutely. you, like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we eagerly, we really wanted to see you face to face again. We wanted to come, and I wanted to come to you again and again. Satan hindered, wow, yeah. though that's his business again, isn't Yes. It? Yeah, and he's very good at yes, hindering he, he does well. his word, uh, hindering. Yes. Uh, as God as permits. Hindering the word as of God. As God permits, yeah. absolutely. Uh, now he works at it. Yeah. It's fascinating. It's interesting that God in this great immortality program involves human beings. Yes, I mean, yes. God can do all this without Yes, yes. No, he uses the talent mm. that he's invested in mm. human beings mm. to work this immortality program. Yes. In a dr- talk about a drama, talk about an epic. <laughs> yes. Make a good film, this, yes. wouldn't it? I mean, there's nothing more exciting than this. <laughs> That's right. And I like these aspect. last words, too, Anthony. Yes. Uh, what is our hope yes. or joy or yes. crown of boasting before Absolutely. our Jesus? Paul and, yeah. uh, and Timothy and yeah. uh, Sylvanus. Yeah. What's our, what's our boasting? Mm. In the day of the Lord, what are we going to boast in? I think Paul is saying, here's what we're going to boast in. I'm not going to stand up there and say, Lord, look at me. I'm Paul, and look at all I have done. And mm. look at, He's not going to say that. He's no. going to say, look at these people. Look at these. Look at these. these <laughs> you are our boasting. You are the ones we're proud Success of. Success stories. You're the ones we're going to present before the Lord and, and just rejoice and be happy. Marvelous. Uh, wow. For you are our glory and joy. Yes, glory, always a, a picture of the glorification of the saints at mm-hmm. the second coming, when your face will shine mm-hmm. like the sun in its strength. I you love ain't it. seen nothing yet, <laughs> kind of a Georgian yes. point of view. I love it. I yeah. really do. That's tremendous. Okay.